So hi everyone this is the PN junction semiconductor diode characteristic apparatus so here you can see the connections for PN junction diode in forward and reverse bias you can perform both the experiment with the help of this kit so first we should connect the voltmeter across this DC voltage uh, there is a range for the DC voltage uh, 3 to 30 volt so they have given here uh, two options uh, you can keep it at 3 volt or else uh, 30 volt DC current uh, voltage so here uh, you can select uh, the 3 volt or 30 volt this is the selector and first we should connect the positive terminal to the positive terminal of the DC output and then uh, we should connect it to the negative terminal so to set the voltage and then we have to connect this positive terminal the DC output to the positive terminal of the emitter and then uh, the negative terminal we have to connect to the cathode positive terminal of the PN junction so this is for forward bias and this is for reverse bias so first we should perform the forward bias so we have to make the connection according to that so negative terminal of the DC output to the cathode uh, that is negative terminal of the PN junction and uh, this anode of the PN junction must be connected to the negative terminal of the emitter so first you should make the connection for forward bias then uh, we can uh, note down the reading for voltage and current then we can go for reverse bias pn junction in reverse bias so here is the circuit diagram for uh, pn junction in forward bias so voltmeter uh, between uh, emitter we should uh, connect the pn junction here so this is anode and cathode uh, positive and negative terminal of the pn junction so here is the nature of graph for to study the iv characteristics of pn junction current versus voltage with this must be a straight line so here i kept uh, the voltage at 3 volt and here also you must keep it at 3 volt the selector we can vary the voltage we should note down the corresponding current in the emitter so here emitter also has the two range first is uh, 100 micro ampere and another one is 100 uh, sorry 10 milli ampere so here uh, we have both the ranges so it is right now at 10 milli ampere so let us apply the voltage this is for forward bias so if i will increase the voltage you can see the emitter reading it is still not varying uh, so you can see it is slightly varying so it is uh, point around 0.65 volt we are having the current in terms of milliampere that is so it is um, one division is equal to 0 0.2 if we can take so 0 0.2 milli ampere so like that keep on increasing the voltage corresponding current is also going to increase so you can see as the voltage is increasing current is also increasing this is for pn junction in forward bias so for up to 3 volt you can apply because we have selected 3 volt so here uh, the current uh, maximum it can reach 10 milli ampere so, so for 3 volt we have achieved almost nearly 10 milli ampere it is not exactly 10 around 9.5 something milli ampere this is the tabular column so the first reading we also got 0.65 volt corresponding current is 0.2 milli ampere so like that you should increase the voltage up to 3 volt and note down the corresponding current so that is about 9.4 milli ampere they got so once you plot the graph 
of voltage versus current so it is a straight line so take the slope if you calculate the slope uh, you can find out the resistance so resistance if you want to calculate you should take 1 over slope 1 divided by slope so they got around 500 ohm resistance for pn junction in forward bias so let us go for the pn junction semiconductor diode in reverse bias so simply we have to connect here uh, the diode pn junction diode in reverse mode so we have to connect the positive terminal of the dc output to the positive terminal of the emitter so then uh, negative terminal we must connect it to the anode here so earlier we have connected to the cathode so here we have to connect it to anode in reverse bias and uh, this uh, cathode of nothing but negative terminal of the pn junction diode must be connected to the emitter so next we have to keep here uh, voltage at 30 volt select the voltage that is also 30 and current we should keep it at 10 micro ampere and let us switch on the device so once we vary the voltage that is how much here 30 volt we should note down the corresponding current here so let us increase the voltage gradually so you can see current is also increasing so for uh, it is around 0.25 volt uh, that is 2.5 volt for 2.5 volt we have the current that is 10 milli ampere because we were 10 micro ampere here it is 100 micro ampere so it is between 0 and 20 10 micro ampere for 2.5 volt so let us uh, gradually increase so current is also going to increase in terms of micro ampere so you can see how much uh, the range we have selected voltage here 30 volt so up to 30 volt you can uh, vary the voltage so current uh, you also must note down in terms of uh, 10 micro ampere 100 micro ampere so for the selected uh, voltage 30 volt within the given range 0 to 100 micro ampere we are going to get the corresponding current so the first reading that is for here is the tabular column for reverse bias so for 2.5 volt we got 10 milli ampere so as we increase the voltage gradually up to 30 volt so final reading they got around 27.5 volt they got 94 micro ampere so like that you have to note down the reading here is the circuit diagram for pn junction in reverse bias we have to simply uh, change the anode and cathode terminals feature of graph for pn junction in reverse bias so it is gradually increasing this is the nature of graph for pn junction in both forward and reverse bias so if we plot the current versus voltage this is the graph for reverse bias so there is a curve uh, here for reverse bias so if you take the slope uh, and uh, if you want to calculate the resistance take the 1 over slope 1 divided by slope uh, you will get the resistance for the reverse bias they got around 250 uh, kilo ohm so like that you have to do the calculation